Welcome to this demonstration about getting started with Performance Hub in the context of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. We will look at how to enable Performance Hub for a pluggable database that is managed and monitored by the Database Management Service in OCI. Let's figure out how to navigate to Performance Hub in the context of a pluggable database. We are in the Fleet Summary page and I am looking at a manufacturing database which is having a lot of activity and I would want to drill down to understand the performance activity of that particular database. So I click on manufacturing and it takes me to the manage database details page where I get to see the summary of the database activity for a period of the last 60 minutes. I can then click on performance hub to understand and deep dive into the performance statistics of this database. Once you launch Performance Hub, you would be checked for the required privileges so that you can access Performance Hub in the context of database management service. Looks like we don't have enough privileges through which we registered this particular database in OCI database management service. It prompts me to download a script, which I should download and move it to the on-prem database server and install that script. I can use a remote connectivity to the database and install that script. So I click on download. It downloads the script to my local desktop and then I can now move the script to the database server or the host where I could connect to the database. Now let's look at the installation process. I am now on the host where I have moved my downloaded zip file. I have unzipped this file. As part of the unzip process, it has created a directory called as scripts and within that it has created another directory called as ash package. Now I am within the ash package directory and if we do an ls, you would see there is a shell script named as ash package.sh. You need to execute this shell script so that you can grant the required privileges to use Performance Hub in the context of the pluggable database that we are interested in. We came from the context of MFG database. So let's run this. It would ask for the SysDBA credentials. Since I'm running this on the host where the database resides, I would enter them as blank because it will then consider using SQL Plus as SysDBA. So I would enter the user as blank and the password as blank. Now, if this is a pluggable database, you need to enter the PDB name. Uh, so we are in the context of manufacturing pluggable database. I would enter MFG. And now you need to enter the DB Connect string. Since we are in uh, the local host or the host where the database is running, I would use the Connect string as localhost colon the listener port number and the service name. If you are connecting from a remote machine, you need to give the actual easy connect connect string. Now you need to enter the DB monitoring user, which should be the same user that was used during the registration of the PDB named as MFG. And you need to give the password for MFG ADM. All right, so there you go. Your Ash package installation was successful. Now you can go back to the Performance Hub pages and access Performance Hub. All right, so let's go ahead and click Performance Hub. And this would do a slide out to the Performance Hub specific to the MFG database. And we would now be able to troubleshoot any performance related issues with respect to this pluggable database. That's all for this demo. Thank you for watching.